Hello everyone and welcome back to a quick seven month update on the fridge. Oddly enough, this has been one of our most requested, well when it comes to people requesting more information, the fridge has been one of the biggest things. So we want to give you a quick update on how it's been going for us for the last seven months and answer some specific questions. Spoiler alert, I love it. I still like it too. And that's one of the things, really, in fact, the, I guess you would say spoiler answer to that is, would we buy it again? Yes. yes. There's been no regrets. Is it perfect? Nothing is perfect out there. But uh, the few small things I can think of are minor, and I see no reason not to get it again. Okay, one question we got was in regards to the water filter tray and whether or not it pulls out for larger items. The short answer on that was no. What it does do is basically this. There's a metal plate that basically, if any moisture falls in, it kind of falls underneath the metal plate and evaporates out. You can clean it up later. So there's a little small metal plate sitting on top and then you've got this little plastic tray to catch the water. If this gets really corroded and just funky and you want to clean it, this also pops out so that you can clean it, but in, it does not slide out or anything else. It is just, and you can see sort of how nasty it's gotten just from the condensated water drying out of it there. But that's seven months of not Yeah, this cleaning. is seven months of us not cleaning it. So this is basically what this unit is capable of doing, and it pretty much just pops right back in, and your plate sits back down. And that is basically the only thing that tray does. Another question we got was in regards to the measured fill and whether or not it starts the first time you push it. And the answer is no. So as you see right here, the screen is completely blacked out. And if we start pouring water now, the measured fill does not work. However, if you stop and then restart so that the screen is still lit, then you start getting your measured fill. Although, oddly enough, it picked up at seven ounces. So it looks like it knew how much I had done. It just didn't show it. It just didn't show it until... Even though that time it... Reset. Yeah, as long as the screen is on, you see it counting up. And there is a light that comes on so that you can see what you're pouring. Yes. And I guess that would be another thing. So in this case, the light options are on, on dim, dim, and pads. We keep ours on pads, which means when you hit one of the pads, the light comes on. Even though, no, which is funny because it normally doesn't show you on at all. Well, if you hit it again, then it's yeah, off. Yeah, that's, that's what we had it on. No, I had it on pads. No, the, earlier there was no light. There was no light bulb there. It was off. Oh, pads. wait, that's no, pads the means the light is on for the pads. You're yes. right, so yeah, that, so the, it, Wait, could you say that one more time? Measured fill, does it work out in the country? Measured fill is purely a calculation that you set so that under a certain pressure, it knows that a certain amount of water will travel through per time. If your water pressure stays consistent, measured fill has accuracy. If you're on a well where you have a higher water pressure and as the tank bleeds down, you have less pressure, then no, measured fill is never going to be accurate. So the measured fill, unless you have extremely accurate water pressure, i.e. you actually have a pressure regulator on your house it's not going to be accurate now one thing we've heard and i'm not really sure exactly what's going on but there is a little bit of a relay on this system you can probably hear it clicking back here yeah it's not hitting the wall i think it's hitting the back of the fridge so as you can see, it looks like it's actually the lines as the water, and, and it's water hammer. This is something that every house has. When water cuts on and off, it causes a surge in pressure in the pipes and they just they can move. And so in this case, that flimsy line being on the outside is just slapping the back of the fridge. That's the one noise that we get running water that it seems. Um, the same thing can happen when the ice maker runs its, its cycle. 
same same noise can happen there. In theory, that's a quick fix. Go in and just tape it to the back so it can't jump off like that, or put a piece of styrofoam behind it, something like that. Should fix that problem, not an issue. I'm super sensitive to noise, so every time you fill your cup a million times for the iced tea, it bothers. Speaking me. of ice, the let's question, show you the ice. Let's. The question is from Paint by G's. Does it make enough ice ever run out? So basically you'll see, it, this is not a huge ice tray. With us, it's two of us here. We're not putting ice in something every time we drink. If there's something in the fridge, we're not adding more ice to the cup. So we have never run out. If you've got a lot of people, or if you're putting ice in everything, all known all day, you might run out. But to give you an idea of what the tray looks like, basically this, this is how much ice has built up since yesterday. Looks like we do it. get uh, some snow build up down here. So let's go with ice. This is what it sounds like. how long it took to do one complete full cup of that ice. Now let's say if we wanted to go crushed. This is what crushed sounds like. The way these spouts work, sometimes you do get some overspray unless you really hold this thing up close. But I don't know how well that shows, but it gives you an idea of how crushed the ice is super soon we are about down to about here so let's just see that in theory we can only probably get a couple more of these out of this so there's about cup number three okay cup number four with the caveat that one of those cups was crushed so, so that was a two cupper and let's just look after four of those cups what have we got not much we got like 10 ice cubes left but these are huge cups a little build up on that side not too bad so yeah let's just say that you can get about four of How these many? four yeah you can see a little bit of sort of a nice build up back here on the bottom as well so an interesting thing about this thing is when you open the door of the freezer, it snows. Literally, it snows. Like for some reason, the airflow and the moisture build up, snowflakes fall out of the little thing. It's kind of funny. There's someone that loves snow. I mean, it's kind of funny. I have never seen a freezer snow before, but this thing snows. Basically, when you open this door, sometimes you'll see snowflakes just kind of fly out of that entryway right there. To give you an idea of how much ice you get per cycle, there is the little baby ice cube tray up in the top. So two, four, six, eight, ten. You only get about ten ice cubes per cycle. Okay, so I think that's all there is to say mainly. Uh, we're going to do a time on how long it takes to refill that um, with our settings. It is 10.15. It is 10.15 in the morning now. We'll let you know when that tray is full. Now, it may not fit. Like I said, it's only ten ice cubes per you can almost do the math. But, but as far as regular noise, right now we've had these doors open and it is running kind of at a wide open face, so we'll be quiet for a second and let you just listen. That is basically what it sounds like when it is running, and that's probably running full bore, as wide as it can get. Our old one was way louder than this. So, seven months in, we've changed the water filter once. It probably should happen more frequently than that. But well, it hasn't actually alerted me that it needs to be replaced since then, but uh. basically, uh, lift up, pull your filter out. Uh, I recommend actually buying the factory filters in this case. It's one of those things where, it's one of the few times where I say, yes, just get the factory filter and be done, but 
putting another one back in, it's basically as simple as sliding it in. Bam, that's your filter chamber. Well, right he there. says it's that simple, but I could not get it to go in myself. It does catch when you're pulling it out. Going in, it seems to go pretty well, but it seems to kind of catch. I'm going to jerk it a little okay. bit. Okay. What about the. There's basement? also. One thing that was interesting is that it comes with a filter system, but it didn't come with a filter. So basically, uh, Which this little we've filter not, right here. Oh, uh, we did buy one. Yes. That's basically all it looks like. Little fresh flow filter. Um, we put one in here when we bought it. And we've not changed seven it. Seven months ago, and we are at ah, half, little under about half. half. Technically, it says six months. And so we've. But it's actually only use it. It's the little thing that wears down is actually only running about half. So, uh, but some of the things that you think about with a fridge um i haven't seen any scratching in the glass yet well yeah yeah that's that, that is cool. i take that back yes you get the uh so when you're using glass stuff in here you can scratch the glass a little bit all fridge did the same thing every, every fridge i've ever seen does that you slide glass on glass it can scratch um the trays this little corner over here Stuff that falls in that corner dirt-wise is hard to get out. That's one annoying thing about the tray. One thing that um, about the drawers I don't like, you open the door, it opens basically to right here. That's like its wide open position. So let's say I want to clean this drawer out for cleaning. It's really difficult. It hits the door. So you kind of have to jam it sideways to get it past the door or push your door a little bit farther, which is not good for the hinges like that. So by default, it's kind of, and for the life of me, I have no idea why that would be the way it is. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. I love the fact that these hold a lot of stuff. In fact, we probably have more in the door here than we had in our entire fridge with the old one. Uh, yeah. Same thing with the freezer. I mean, it just holds so much more than our old one did. Right. We're still happy with that. We we have not had to put stuff in our downstairs freezer, even when we thought. Yeah, we like, bought, yeah we're going to have to go downstairs with this. We bought so much stuff. I'm like, oh, look, it keeps fitting. And pizza, bo pizza box. Pizza box bits. Pizza if box you bits. Put, if you put the trays in the right or the shelves in the right position a pizza box fits yep. nicely on Sleeping that shelf one right there the finish hasn't been too hard to keep clean i mean it's Are stainless, stainless steel, steel? It, it, it it will fingerprint etc but open open that thing and grab what i use she uses the wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish in conclusion was that all the questions that everyone's been asking so far basically probably? they were wanting to know about the water the water dispenser the front end of the machine i mean the machine the fridge and also I wish I had the noise i need to order a vb meter still find little bits and pieces of plastic because i hate the way they cover the stainless bend the stainless and assemble the stainless with all the plastic still attached and you're slowly and peeling our, out little pieces of plastic forever. Our door handles are a little crooked right now, but that's because our fridge is basically empty. Yeah, Once as you we, put stuff in the doors, the, the weight will shift a little bit. But yes, we love it. I love it. She hasn't complained about it since we put it in. Have I have I said any more? No, now you complain about everything else. That's like, right. Knock one thing off the list and there's something else. What, like the what's never ending on, list. What's on the list now that I've been complaining about? Internet. Oh yeah, that's that. Internet. 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 If you have any more questions about the fridge, you know what to do. So thanks to the people who actually asked some questions about this. We figured we would try to get those answered for you here today. Maybe fill in a few extra holes about how the experience has been for the last seven months. Cut off already. That is hysterical. It never... Well, we never pay attention to it. You never... Oh, there it goes. Okay. So... So what was your question? Now, 
Can you touch it and make it light up? <laughs> yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> can you touch the screen and make it light up and then count up for a measured fill? Yeah, if you turn the screen on first. Touch it. Well, just let's do, well, should we do the do other you, thing first? Because I, I know the answer to this. Do you just touch it? Yeah, like hit temp. No, I mean. No, you got to like hit one of the buttons, like temp. But you have to press it harder and just a 